Africa is expected to see a huge investment in green energy as it looks to grow its economy. Renewable energy is expected to account for 65% of installed capacity on the continent by 2035 and 95% by 2050. Solar and wind power will be the main source of green energy followed by hydropower. By leveraging renewable sources, African nations diversify their energy mix, reducing dependence on fossil fuels and enhancing energy security. This shift towards renewable energy is creating new opportunities for investment, innovation and job creation driving economic growth across sectors. Projects are already underway to turn Africa into a leading powerhouse of renewable and clean energy. One such scheme is the East African Electric Highway, which connects Ethiopia, Kenya and Tanzania. The East African Electricity Highway is a network comprises of transmission lines that allow electricity to flow between Kenya, Tanzania and Ethiopia. It means that the three East African countries which rely on renewable energy sources have access to backup supplies from each other. The project has launched trial power supply operations between Kenya and Tanzania, marking a significant milestone in the region's energy integration efforts. This achievement follows the successful connection of Ethiopia and Kenya through an advanced power transmission network setting the stage for regional electricity trade. The 510-kilometer interconnector linking Kenya's Isinia substation to Tanzania's Singida substation is a step forward for regional energy trade and cross-border power reliability. The project saw Kenya electricity supply company Ketrako build 96 kilometers of 400 kilovolts line from a senior to Namanga border, while Tanzania electricity supply limited Tanesco extended 414 kilometers from Namanga to Singida. It also includes the addition of new substation in Arusha, Tanzania. Funded by the government of Kenya and African Development Bank at a total cost of US dollars 309 million, the interconnector will enable energy transactions under a willing agreement between Ketrako and Tanesco. Central to the project is a power purchase agreement between Ethiopia Electricity Power EEP and Tanesco, enabling the transfer of 100 megawatts of electricity through Kenya. This trade is expected to scale to 200 megawatts within three years. The agreement also underscores the potential for the project to support industrial growth and economic integration by reducing reliance on fossil fuels and stabilizing electricity supplies. The interconnector forms part of Eastern Electricity Highway Initiative, a broader effort to facilitate regional cross-border energy trade. With this integration, Kenya and Tanzania will contribute to power exchange across Ethiopia, Sudan, Egypt and Southern Africa power pool, promoting access to affordable renewable energy. Regional energy collaboration is set to deepen further when the 13-member EAPP begin formal energy trading in March 2025. The interconnector represents a key infrastructure component in advancing the EAPP vision of a unified electricity market in East Africa. The project, which forms a critical component of the power infrastructure collaboration among Ethiopia, Kenya and Tanzania, aims to provide consistent and cost-effective electricity across the three nations. By integrating power grids, the initiative is designed to enhance regional cooperation, improve energy security and promote sustainable development. 
so there you have it east african electric highway if you're new to this channel be sure to like share and subscribe to the boss tv thank you for watching and see you next time my friend until then as always bye bye